You never want users to sit and watch your page load, so let's optimize a website. In this React website, I've got four images. In our app.js, we'll import these images and make it look a little better with some CSS. A dark background and a monospace font because we're some serious developers here. Now if we run the app and whip out the dev tools, we can see it takes about 59 milliseconds to load the images. Keep that in mind and let's talk sprites. Sprites are multiple images smashed into one. Why? Because fewer HTTP requests mean faster load times and happier users. We'll combine the four images into a sprite.png and arrange them horizontally. For the code, we'll update the app.js to use divs instead of image tags and use some CSS magic. The web page looks exactly the same, but when we look at the dev tools, we see a 46 millisecond load time. That's a 36 millisecond difference. Wait, did we just waste our time swapping out images for sprites for a measly 13 milliseconds? Well, let's put this into perspective. If your website gets a million hits per day, that's 13 million milliseconds saved. That's 3.6 hours, and reducing HTTP requests can improve performance on slower networks and devices. Ideally, using sprites is more useful for websites with lots of images. There are a couple caveats. Updating one image means you have to update the entire sprite sheet, and if you change one sprite, users have to re-download the entire sprite sheet. To make life easier, Consider using tools that automate sprite generation. Webpack has plugins and there are CSS preprocessors that can help. So should you use sprites in your next project? It depends. For larger projects with many icons and images, sprites can significantly reduce load times and improve performance. Something to consider.